especially that queen. <laughs> oh God. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're gonna do my makeup. And we're gonna talk about the Promise Neverland. Not that. Get that shit out of your mind. This, the manga, because I finished it. I can read, guys. Don't worry. I shouldn't have to say this, but spoilers. Go read the manga. But we can all say that the manga ending was very refreshing, very emotional, her losing her memories and that being the deal. You know, not pulling an attack on Titan on us and just killing her off was very, very well fetched out. It was more like, oh my gosh, we came so far, now we get to see them living their lives. And even though she lost her memories, she still has a part of her that, you know, feels attached to these people because of all she went through. It was just, I had a great day that day. I didn't have to drink that day. But there's just one problem. One question that penetrated my mind and I didn't want to ask this, but it was just there. Is this realistic? Like, I love the ending, don't get me wrong, but is this all realistic? And, and that's very important. Now, I'm not a sicko or anything, but some more of those kids should have died. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. They're cattle, quote unquote. They're dealing with demons that have senses that are really strong. And I don't think a piece of grass can hide those kids from those senses. You know, people gotta eat. <laughs> people like their meat, okay? And Emma, we've come so far, guys. Why stop now? And you know what? I can agree to that, okay? Uh, well, since the realistic events happened, might as well just, you know, throw yourself out there. But uh, one of the events is the Norman situation where he was really planning to kill all those motherfuckers and Emma's like, no, we have friends on that team, so stop. And automatically he's like, Okay, you know, I've been planning this for a while now, but since you said it, Emma, I have a huge crush on you, but shit, I'll stop everything. I feel like there should have been more to that pep talk. At least, you know, have some. I wouldn't say fighting, because they were really close, but I guess more of a pep talk than that. It felt like it was 10 seconds of a pep talk. Imagine going to college for like 11 years to be a doctor and someone talks you out of it and then you're like, you know what? You're right. I know I spent all my damn money and I'm in millions of dollars in debt, but shit, if you said it, I'm okay with it. And then don't get me started on the queen. I cannot believe that they beat that sexy queen. <laughs> Even with um, the, the prince on the side, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. There's no damn way. <laughs> there are times where I thought that, you know, the queen would go for one of the children just, were they just standing there? I might have to read this whole shit again. Holy shit. Am I out of the product? I can fix this. You know what, even if they were, you know, gonna beat the queen, at least have one of the children, you know, die. Like, even the flesh wound that the kid got, they didn't die. How are you gonna survive from a flesh wound? Anyway, I took a few pictures of some moments in the manga that I thought were interesting and really spoke to me, so uh, here they are.
And that one, I was like, dude, like, what are you doing? You need some therapy. You need more therapy than me. Just like, you know what? I'm perfectly fine. I am more than normal. Jeez. Actually, you know, what happened to him again? Oh. Well, like, <laughs> I don't even know. W was there a way to save him? Probably. In conclusion, it's refreshing, but I guess unrealistic. Can you be a bit quieter? <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, subscribe, like it, comment, do whatever you want. It's the anime is a very refreshing but unrealistic uh, one, and you know it's over in. Kahoot to the author for making such a good piece of work. But thank you guys. I love you. Jesus, help.